Welcome back. NASA space apps Cairo. What is it? What's the relation between NASA and Cairo? Where we are when it comes to space technology? Do we have answers? The answer is yes, and we do have a lot to speak about. In a very special segment with very special guests, we are going to know more details. Uh, welcome with me, my dear guests, um, engineer Basil Mohammed and Yasmin, one of the beauties we have, who is and still participating in one of the important missions when it comes to space. And they are representing Egypt to uh, introducing uh, Egypt's space technology to the whole world. The details with us right now. Basil, thank you very much for being with us. Yasmin, thank you very much for being with us. Before going into details, because I want to make it more simple for our viewers, what's NASA Space Apps Cairo? First of all, thank you, Nirveen, for this uh, beautiful introduction. Uh, NASA Space Apps Cairo is a global, NASA Space Apps Challenge is a global hackathon which takes place each year for two days, mm -hmm. 48 hours, in many cities of the world. Mm -hmm. So here in Egypt, in Cairo, we are hosting NASA Space Apps Cairo. Oh. We began at 2015. The event started with two engineers, uh, engineer Minna Hamza and uh, Dr. Dina Tantawi, mm -hmm. who started this back in 2015. And they uh, brought some beautiful volunteers from IEEE Egypt mm -hmm. to make this beautiful challenge, this beautiful event, to be uh, locally in Cairo. Mm -hmm. Great, uh, and I'm happy, I cannot hide my happiness that those behind the whole issue are female engineers. Sorry, Bessel. Yeah, yes, you are. Um, um, let me go to the very first step or the idea itself. How it came to your mind that you are going to be part of this project? Okay, uh, I'm Yasmin Said. I'm a student at Biomedical Engineering Department at Cairo University. Mm -hmm. I'm the leader of the uh, team Chasing Shadows. Mm -hmm. My team consists of five members mm -hmm. uh, me mm -hmm. and Prima Aydel. Raise Tamer. your mic a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Hisham Tamer. Uh huh. Uh, Camilla Marwan and Farah Hussam. Yeah. Okay, we know about the competition uh, from the group uh, of our department. It's a group about the internships. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we joined the hackathon and our challenge was uh, how to uh, learn the young, uh, young learners about the solar eclipse mm. in a more simple way. Oh. Okay. Uh, our solution consists of three... Uh, but honey, you are still a kid and you are dealing with kids? Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm not a kid. I'm already uh, 22. Oh. Okay. That big. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, our solution consists of three parts. Mm -hmm. The first part was uh, a game. Mm -hmm. It consists of levels. Uh, to pass a level, you must uh, answer questions about uh, information about the solar clubs. Mm -hmm. uh, the second part was uh, an e-book mm -hmm. about the solar eclipse also. Mm -hmm. The third part was a maquette uh, mm -hmm. simulating the movement of the sun and moon and the earth. I'm going to know the reaction of the kids and how you deal with them, but <laughs> after asking Basil some questions, okay? okay. Basil, uh, the ideas are brilliant. And I think you are moving from an idea to the other the whole way long. You do brainstorming, you, th you, you turn uh, the, uh, the groups into think tanks. What do you do to come up with these uh, ideas and how to implement them on the ground? Because I think that this is not an easy job. Yeah, yeah yes. Uh, look, first of all, we do like a boot camp before the day of the hackathon. Mm -hmm. So like before uh, like two weeks, we make a boot camp. It's like a one or two days. Mm -hmm. We uh, bring and invite all the uh, nominated applicants and the nominated participants mm -hmm. because uh, we have a lot of participants so maybe we have like 2,000 participants and only 700 was accepted mm -hmm. so before this deadline of the acceptance uh, release date uh, we have like a boot camp this boot camp have like set of sessions for the full day and we uh, explain for the new participants what's going to happen mm -hmm. what are they going to face so if there's if, if it's a perfect if it is their first time to be in a team mm -hmm. how should they deal with each other yeah how should they present and story tell about their ideas mm -hmm. so in this boot camp they know more about the competition and know more about what's going to happen mm -hmm. so during the fo 48 hours the two days mm -hmm. uh, we make sure that they have their mentors so each team each team has like uh, each group of teams are are shining for uh, a specific 
challenge. Yeah. And they are trying to fix this problem mm -hmm. through a creative solution. Mm -hmm. So they have a set of mentors. These mentors should be engineers, should be artists, designers. Uh, they are not fixing uh, or, or, or making a solution with them. They are just supporting them during these 48 mm -hmm. hours. Mm -hmm. And after that, they go to the another phase. After our competition team filter all the ideas, filter all the, uh, the, the initial uh, applicants, they filtrate the teams and say the, that these, let's say, we have like 2000s, only 700s are going to continue. Mm -hmm. And after, they, after the 48 hours end, they have a final pitching in front of judges. Yeah. So in NASA Space Apps Care, we are responsible to bring the right judges to the right categories. And you are following a very scientific method of doing every single thing. You are not giving, um, it's not by chance. It's not this way, but you are flexible enough to amend many rules on the ground, true? Yes. This is exactly what I felt exactly. when you were talking about the whole issue. Yes, yes, exactly. True. So, yeah, our competition team is working day and night mm. to have the, 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 the new ideas, the, the true ideas, no copycats, everything is new. So, when we go and say that we have like 10 local winners mm. from NASA Space Apps Cairo, from these local winners, we are taking three global nominees to participate with the name of Cairo. So, they will be participating with the whole other cities. Such a responsibility. Yasmin, dealing with kids, it's not an easy issue. And um, to continue with, um, I mean, touching tangible results on the ground, I think that this is such a positive energy you uh, acquire when you feel that what you're doing is having fruitful results. Tell me about your experience. One of the judges told us to publish our ebook mm -hmm. uh, and to do that. Uh, currently, we didn't uh, do that. Uh, okay, uh, we didn't uh, did that uh, already, mm -hmm. but we're gonna do that. Mm -hmm. And the market, uh, we uh, we showed it to a number of kids, mm -hmm. and it was very impressive. Okay, uh, our game. Uh, a number of, of my relevance already started to play it and to uh, to try it mm. and it was very... Yasmin, I'm not going to tell Basel, okay? It's between you and me and our viewers. Did you think that when you um, started your first step in this project that you are going to continue this way and this is going to take such a big part of your time and maybe you are going to sacrifice other things to be involved more and more with your team into this experience? Actually, it's not like a sacrifice also uh, NASA space apps all, uh, always always supporting us uh -huh. and helping us to to improve ourselves mm -hmm. okay uh, at the very start we didn't imagine that we will be a global nominees uh -huh. actually at the submission time we we thought it okay uh, it what was your feeling when you know that you are going you shoulder this responsibility you are going to represent <laughs> Egypt Actually, we didn't uh, get that and we already stayed uh, at our places <laughs> and who? <laughs> we, okay. Then we, uh, we went to on the stage and celebrated it. Then we returned to our seats and suddenly uh, the global nominees are chasing shadows. So I wow. know that this turn is going to continue. Basil, um, I don't know why I felt while you're talking that you are such a scouter. I mean, you know well who will continue who will bear this responsibility, who can shoulder a big task, who is that innovative and challenging, and who can be also all, all, only an amateur, someone who can do something in a very traditional manner and return home, and that's it. How would you, would you decide who is going to continue with you, who is going to join the big team, stuff like that? Because I think that this is another mission. From the aspect of, of the teams, the participants, mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what you mean, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, look, the, the filtration phase is so so exhausting. So long. Let's say uh, many cities are, are participating in the in the hackathon mm -hmm. and, 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 and taking a place to be local sites. Okay. But in Cairo, our uh, filtration phase for the applicants is so long. Mm -hmm. So when they apply, we request each team to have a video, like like a short video, telling us what's what's their idea not only a documentation mm -hmm. or a presentation. We have to hear from them and how are they introducing their ideas. So that's make the filtration... It's a show reel. Yeah. 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 That's why uh, to be accepted in NASA Space Apps Cairo, only accepted, not a winner, to be accepted to participate in NASA Space Apps Cairo is such a hard and uh, a challenging task.
And I think that you have uh, you have had surprises with these videos, true? Sure, sure, always, always we have surprises. <laughs> so, uh, like w when you are filtrating, like uh, let's say. Um, 300, te 300 teams. Okay, so our our competition team is working day and night to make to see each idea. Mm. Uh, sometimes uh, participants like making this tricky thing. They are just upgrading the past year's project. So we are we, we, we are no we, we we know we know what what are they trying to do. Mm -hmm. But uh, from from year to year, as we have uh, participants from each each place, we have engineers, we have STEM students, mm -hmm. we have uh, high high school students. We have many, sometimes we have uh, after graduates. So the ideas comes from each, each and everywhere. Basil, the word NASA is a little bit scary. Yeah. And for uh, and in the same time, attractive. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm not going to ask. You <laughs> elaborate. <laughs> yeah, look, we have a lot of support from the uh, astronauts and the scientists from NASA, mm -hmm. whether they Egyptians, Arabics, or even from the whole world. Mm -hmm. So uh, the past year, uh, we had Dr. Tahani Amir, who, who is an Egyptian-American scientist, who came to our event, and she uh, is supporting us from the beginning, from the every, from the every sense, from 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, she had a talk and a speech for all our participants, encouraging them uh, to uh, to join and find the solutions because these these tiny ideas who these bright minds are thinking of and are creating outside the books uh, turns into a huge game changer then yeah you know uh, here here in Egypt the life we, we're saying it's and uh, in, in the difficulty hard game mm -hmm. so w when, when this child who was raised in in Egypt are thinking we are thinking in a different way because we already are facing a lot of challenges here. Mm -hmm. So when we come up with idea, it's a creative idea. Yep, that's amen why, to that. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, that's why NASA is, is, um, is, is keen to know what, how, what's new, what, what these uh, kids and, and uh, engineers and artists and creative minds are bringing. So I should here ask Yasmin about uh, your studies or your specialty. Which um, benefits the other I mean, when it comes to coming from this background you're coming from, uh, this had uh, this positive impact on your experience in NASA Cairo app or vice versa? As I said before, I'm studying biomedical engineering. Uh, after this experience, uh, currently I'm thinking about how to merge it in, in the space field, mm. how to solve the, the problems in the space field according to the health and how to, uh, for example, how to uh, remote patient monitoring the, the astronauts, how, mm. to, uh, how to know how, how is, is your health, how to uh, your There is a mission function. who just returned after a whole year. Um, uh, they were in uh, a capsule or something like that as if they are in Mars. And they returned back and they did have a physician, a specialist just to know what are the effects of being there for a whole year. I think you are going to be one of them in the near future. Agree? Yeah, I do agree. <laughs> we do have uh, two other um, participants in this very, very ambitious issue, if I may call it this way. I'm going to turn back with them, but before that, I should say that I was honored and I enjoyed my discussion with two of our let's say big hopes of tomorrow because I'm really feeling great that we do have such a brilliant mind. Basil and Yasmin, thank you very much. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. The pleasure is ours. Thank you so much. Right after the short break, I'm going to be back with more. Don't go anywhere.